would be the difference, Wolf. That right. would be the difference because the numbers we re received from the state had Romney at 386, Santorum at 321, Ron Paul at 262. If we go through the top three, she just said Romney gets 437, Santorum 354, Ron Paul 292. That right there would be enough. If this is the missing precinct, right. that would be enough right there to make Mitt Romney narrowly, it's that's narrowly. The 3 that's still if, missing if, enough. If, if this is what's missing, and we need the state central committee to clear this up, but the numbers we're receiving from the state do not match the numbers we just received from the county chairwoman right here in Clinton County. If these are the well, final numbers... The numbers don't match. Well, I'll, I'll explain it. I'll explain it to you. Uh, John, you go ahead and explain it. Uh, I'm, the, the, the numbers, Madam Chairwoman, I'm not questioning your numbers. I'm saying the numbers you're giving us now do not match the numbers that the state central committee has reported so far from your county. And they say one precinct is missing. So if your numbers are that missing precinct, and these are the final numbers from Clinton County, excuse my scribble, but 437, not 386, 354, not 321, we can stop right there. Well, that would make Romney the winner. Romney the winner narrowly in the state of Iowa. We think we've solved the problem, but we're not the official voice here. I'm Matt Strong, the state Republican chairman, would be the one who has to make this decision in the end, and I'm sure the chairman's having a delightful evening. Carol and Arby, do you want to add anything to this conversation? You hear what the final result was when they called me. <laughs> Carolyn or Edith, anything else you want to tell our viewers? No, I just know that those figures were originally called in at 7.48 by the person in charge from that precinct. And um, 